Thousands of year-round students are in, back in the classrooms today in Wake County. The Wake County school system announced some changes for this school year. Tamara Scott is live now with the important information you need to know. Tamara? Yeah, good afternoon. If you were out on the roads this morning heading to work and you saw some extra school buses out there, that is because the year-round students did make their way back to school today, which means 20,000 students started school up again. Good morning, good morning. It's going to be a great day. Everyone is in high spirits today. We haven't seen them in so long. There you go. It's been like six or seven days. For the start of a new school year at Carpenter Elementary School. We get to see them in a new light today. We get to see them as, you know, advancing in their academics as third graders, fourth graders. Principal Faye Jones, teachers and students from NC Central University. Have a good day. Greeted each child this morning. I love your book bag. As they embarked on a new year. And it's really important important for our kids to see teachers that look like them, that they can relate to. Good morning. Principal good morning. Jones says it's a great opportunity good morning. Good morning. to recruit as well. If we can get them to do their student teaching in our building and they fall in love with our community, then we can hire them as teachers. So it totally does help, you know, with the teacher shortage. Students like second grader Charlie Munn have a lot to be excited about. New teachers, new friends, and I'm in a new hallway. So I get to see other classrooms. And he's proactive about being in a new leadership role. So if they're like climbing a tree at recess, which you shouldn't do, because there are trees there, just they're not allowed to climb. Then I tell them like stop or something, I don't know. Do they listen? I've never asked someone that because of this is my first day at second grade. Oh, right. But mom says she's looking forward to the new security measures in place. So it's nice to see it now um, implemented in some of the older schools where we've been used to scanning the driver's license and things like that. But obviously safety is our number one concern. So it's really nice to see another level of that. Good morning. And the traditional school calendar starts on August 28th. Tamara Scott, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. All right, Tamara.